Hi everyone. This is a quick start guide for Audio Test Kitchen. After you've created an account and watched The Wizard, you'll land here on the main platform page. The first step is to search for and select the microphones that you want to compare. To do this, simply click the search icon located in this lower area called the flex box. Then click the filter icon here in the top right. You can then input your search criteria either by using natural language entered here or by using these checkboxes. In this example, I'm going to search for two mics under $1,000. Once I've finished entering all my search criteria, I select Apply Filter. Next, I'm going to drag the first five microphones that I want to compare into one of the available slots in this upper area, called the Taste Test. But in this case, I'm interested in more than five microphones. So, I'm going to move some additional microphones into my cupboard, which is kind of an on-deck area. To do this, I simply click the lower drawer of each microphone and select Cupboard. Now that that's done, I can click the cupboard icon and see that all of the microphones that I gathered from search are either here in the cupboard or loaded into the taste test. Now we're ready to listen. To listen, simply click on any mic in the taste test and select play in the transport. I can either play the entire audio passage, which is the default setting, or I can select a smaller region by dragging over the waveform. I can also select loop or auto next playback modes over here on the right side of the transport. Once playback has reached the end of a selected audio region, in loop mode the audio will automatically replay for the currently active mic, whereas in auto next mode the audio will automatically play for the next mic in the taste test. You can also choose different sound sources up here in the source select dropdown. This video is being created at the start of the early access period. So, there are currently seven sound sources available to choose from, comprising a single song, The Weekend. However, we have lots more additional content already captured, including different songs, genres, and instruments, which we'll be rolling out over time. So check back regularly, or sign up for our email list for updates. When listening, I like to set the flex box to show the microphone's frequency responses, which the amazing team at Harman Labs helped us create. I find that looking at the frequency response curves while listening can really aid in focusing my ears on some of the more subtle differences between the microphones, especially before my ears are warmed up. The frequency response details are viewable on mouse over and color coordinated with the microphones in the taste test. Now that you know the basic functions of the Audio Test Kitchen platform, you're ready to get started. Do note, however, that there are many other fun and helpful features on the platform that we will be digging into in other videos, so check back regularly. Drop us a comment with any thoughts. Happy listening.